It's looking to be a very exciting Champions League season, but who will make it out of the group stage? Let's get right into it. Welcome back to Talking Bayern, the one-stop shop for Bayern Munich content on YouTube. Today we'll be discussing who I think will be coming out of the group stage and moving on to the round of 16 in the Champions League. This season, in the very first group, wasting no time getting right into it, we have Ajax, Liverpool, Napoli, and Rangers. And this is obviously a very interesting group. We had Ajax, the champions of the Netherlands. Liverpool, they came second last season in the Premier League. Obviously a very, very strong team to come out of the second pot. As well as Napoli, another strong side. And then Rangers, who made it to the Europa League finals. And obviously lost to Frankfurt in the finals. But I think this is going to be a really strong group. However, I know Liverpool have struggled a lot at the beginning of the season. Obviously they just won 9 nothing recently in that game, but I do think they are going to be the strongest team in this group. So I'm going to have Liverpool coming first, Napoli coming second, Ajax going to the Europa League, and obviously Rangers being eliminated. Uh, I think that's pretty fair. I could maybe see Ajax squeezing Napoli, but I'm pretty strong. I think it's going to be Liverpool and Napoli moving on in this game. I could see also Rangers coming third, but yeah, I don't see really any other way about Liverpool and Napoli advancing to the next round. As for Group B, I think this is going to be a pretty even group. A lot of strong teams here. We have a Porto, Atletico, Leverkusen, and Club Bruges. I think Club Bruges could put up a fight and maybe come for third, but I do think it is going to be Atletico Madrid coming first, Bayer Leverkusen coming second, and Porto going to the Europa League in third. I think Leverkusen is a really strong team, but they have shown some signs of struggling so far this season. Atletico Madrid, obviously not the best team in Spain, but when it comes to the Champions League, they never seem to fail. They're obviously a very strong team in Europe. So I got them winning this group and Leverkusen coming second Porto to the Europa League. As for Group C, this is a really exciting one. Obviously, this is the one that Bayern is in. Obviously, probably the group of death here. We have Barcelona and Inter Milan as well. And then, obviously, Victoria Pilsen. I think that's a pretty obvious one. They're going to come fourth in this group. As for who I think is going to top this group, i got to pick Bayern. And then I'm going to go for a bit of a bolder pick. I think Milan's going to come second. I know a lot of people are starting to believe in this Barcelona team. But I think there's a few more things they need to get right before they can really make a nice Champions League run. And obviously... In another group, I could easily see them, you know, coming first in the group, coming second. You know, maybe in the group with Tottenham and Eintracht Frankfurt, I could see them winning that group. But I do think that, obviously, Inter and Bayern are stronger sides. So I see it Bayern 1, Barca 2, Inter Milan 3rd, and obviously Pilsen coming 4th. Then we have Group D with Frankfurt, Tottenham, Sporting, and Marseille. This is an interesting group because I don't think there's any one clear winner here. Obviously, four strong teams. Um, like, for Marseille to come out of the 4th pot, I think, is a really strong 4th pot team, maybe the best fourth pot team here. So I do think it's going to be an interesting one. I do, however, have Tottenham Hotspur coming first in the group. I think they're a really strong side this year. They've obviously making strong building in the last few years. And obviously Frankfurt won the Europa League, but I just don't see them making, you know, that great of a Champions League run this year. I think they can come second in the group. However, I will say if Sporting do get Ronaldo, I know that's rumored, if they do get Ronaldo, I can see them moving on to the next stage Without him, I don't see them taking over either Frankfurt or Tottenham. So I'm going to have one Tottenham, two Frankfurt, three Sporting, and fourth Olympic to Marseille. As for Group E, it's an interesting one with Milan, Chelsea, Salzburg, and Dynamo. I think that Milan's really strong. Obviously, they won the Serie A last season, but I do think Chelsea are a better team. So in this one, I'm going to have Chelsea one, Milan second, Salzburg third, and Dynamo in fourth. However, I think Salzburg might be able to pull an upset and maybe squeeze into that Champions League group stage, uh, sorry, round of 16, but let's be honest, I don't really see that happening. As for the group F, I think it's an interesting one. Obviously, we have Madrid, Leipzig, Shakhtar, and Celtic, probably the, like the two weakest third and fourth teams here. Obviously, I think Shakhtar is definitely the weakest team in the third pot, um, but Leipzig had a good performance last year in the Champions League, although they were in the group with obviously Man City and PSG. They obviously did not win that, but honestly, they put up a really good fight against those two teams, and to be honest with another group, maybe they would have advanced, but I think it's got to be Madrid number one in this group. Obviously, they won the Champions League last season, and they're showing, obviously, signs of excellence already this season as well. So for me, it's got to be Madrid one, Leipzig two, Shakhtar Nesk third, and Celtic in fourth. Moving on to Group G, it's an interesting one as well. We have Man City, Sevilla, Dortmund, and Copenhagen. And obviously Man City are number one. I'm just going to throw it out there. No surprises here. Man City are obviously an excellent team. I don't think they won the Champions League this season, but I do think they're a very strong side. They're going to win this group. And that comes down to Sevilla and Dortmund. Obviously, Dortmund lost Holland, really their offensive firepower. But I do think, after a really disappointing season last year in the Champions League, 
they are going to top Sevilla. Sevilla is going to go down to the Europa League and have a strong Europa League performance, I think. So I can see Dortmund coming in the second spot, which means Copenhagen will be eliminated in fourth. Lastly, for the last group, uh, this is another one with two, obviously, heavyweights, PSG and Juventus. But also, don't sleep on Benfica. Uh, definitely do sleep on Maccabi Haifa. I don't see them coming, you know, anything higher than fourth in this group, unfortunately. But I can see this group being topped by PSG 1. And then, honestly, I think Benfica are stronger than people think. I wouldn't think it's absolutely crazy for them to finish above Juventus this year. I do th I do think it is the more safe option, the safer bet to get Juventus in second. But I think this might be a bit of a bold take. I can see Benfica coming second in this group. With the right performance, obviously, they lost some firepower last season. But I wouldn't be surprised to see them make it into the Champions League round of 16. Obviously, I would like to do a bit more of predictions and do the entire rest of the tournament. But we do not have, obviously the footwork to do any more predictions than this but i hope you enjoyed this video let me know who you think in advance from the group stage and if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and a comment hope you see you on the next one until then mia samia